One of the biggest new features of Windows 10 is Cortana, your very own digital assistant that can help with everyday tasks, like finding information, organizing your schedule, and reminding you to do things, to name a few. And the more she learns about you, the more personalized your experience will be. To get started with Cortana, just tap or click the search box on your taskbar and type a question. For example, you can ask what the weather's like in New York and Cortana will give you the answer. Or if you fancy catching a movie, she can find out what's playing nearby. You can ask Cortana literally anything you want. If she doesn't have the answer offhand, she'll direct you to a web search instead where you can get more info from Bing. If you've got a microphone attached or built into your device, you can even talk to Cortana and she'll respond with her voice by tapping or clicking the microphone icon beside the search box. First, you'll need to give her permission to access your microphone and other data so she can understand the way you talk. Once that's done, you're all set. So just ask a question by speaking into your microphone. For example, what's Microsoft's stock price? Microsoft closed up 0.1% yesterday at 57.25. To talk to Cortana going forward, just tap or click the microphone icon each time to get her attention. Here's another example. How far is San Francisco from New York City? It'll take 44 hours and 49 minutes to drive to San Francisco, California. It's about 2,908 miles away. Speaking of travel, Cortana can also give you directions using the Maps app, so just tell her where you want to go. Give me directions from New York City to Washington, D.C. Getting you directions to Washington, D.C. In addition to travel directions, she can also track flights for you if you give her the flight number. American Airlines Flight 6138. American Airlines Flight 6138 to New York is on time, departing at 8.30 a.m. locally. Note that if Cortana has trouble hearing you, she'll let you know. Sorry about that. I didn't hear anything. If that happens, tap or click the link above to troubleshoot your mic and run through a quick setup process. This will involve reading a few sentences aloud to test the mic and help Cortana get familiar with your voice. Once that's done, you should be in good shape, so tap or click the mic icon to try again. Let's try a few more examples. For the next one, we'll get her to translate a phrase for us. How do you say, how are you, in Japanese? Okay, here's how to say how are you in Japanese. O genki desu ka? Cortana's also great for checking facts. For instance, how high is the Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower stands 986.38 feet tall. Or you could use her to catch up with your favorite sports team. For example, who won the Mariners game? Take a look at this. Did you know that Cortana is also a math wizard? So she can do calculations for you too. Let's start with a simple conversion. Convert 6.2 meters to feet. 6.2 meters is approximately 20.34 feet. Here's another one. What's 47% of 9 million? That makes 4,230,000. Not only is Cortana really smart, but she's also got a great sense of humor. So you can have some fun with her too. Here's a few examples if you fancy a chit chat. What are you up to today? Working out the mechanics of a virtual fist bump. How did you get your name? We tested it with baristas. Vanilla latte for Cortana. Sounds great, don't you think? And lastly, tell me a joke. Two antennas got married. The ceremony dragged on, but the reception was excellent. <laughs> All right. Remember, you can ask Cortana literally anything you want. So get creative and have some fun. You might be surprised at what you hear. For a more personal service like helping out with your schedule, Cortana will need to learn a bit more about you. Click the link just above the search box to set the permissions so she can get to know you better. She'll need access to things like your location, contacts, calendar, and messages, as well as your browsing and search history. If you're happy with that, click Sure to give her access. 
then sign in to finish up. Once that's done, she'll display some tips on the home screen, along with recommended news and info. Although you'll see more personalized info as she gets to know you, like your daily schedule and specific news based on your interests. We'll show you how to personalize the home screen in our video on customizing Cortana later. Now that you've linked your Microsoft account to Cortana, she can help out with more personal stuff. For example, you can give her tasks like setting alarms or reminders. Wake me up at 7 a.m. every weekday. Sure thing. I've turned on your alarm for every weekday at 7 a.m. To cancel the alarm later, just say, cancel my 7 a.m. alarm. I've turned off your alarm for 7 a.m. You can also set a reminder for a particular time or place if you've enabled location tracking. For example, remind me to pick up the dry cleaning when I leave work on Tuesday. I can remind you to pick up the dry cleaning when you leave the office. Sound good? Yes. Sure thing. Here, we've already added our office address to Cortana so she knows where we work. We'll show you how to do that as well as manage your reminders in our video on customizing Cortana. Other things Cortana is really good at is helping you organize your schedule. For instance, she can create meetings or appointments for you. Add lunch with Greg to my calendar for Monday. What's the start time? 12 p.m. All right. I'll add lunch with Greg to your calendar for Monday at 12 p.m. Sound good? Yes. Great. She can also change it if you need to reschedule later. Move my 12 p.m. lunch on Monday to 1 p.m. Okay. I'll change lunch with Greg to Monday at 1 p.m. Is that right? Yes. Sure thing. You can even dictate notes and messages using Cortana too. Send an email to Jasper. What should your email say? I got your comments, so we'll add the changes and get back to you ASAP. Here's your email. Send it, add more, or make changes. Send. I've sent it. Lastly, Cortana can also help you keep track of your schedule. What's my schedule like on Monday? I found two events Monday. At 10 a.m., meeting with design team. And at 12 p.m., lunch with Greg. There's literally so many things that Cortana can do, and we've only scratched the surface in this video. For more help and examples of what she's capable of, click See More Tips from the home screen. This will display a huge list of all the different types of things that she can help out with. So just select a category to view examples of what she can do. When you're done, tap or click the Back button at the top to return to the previous page, or hit the Home button on the left to return to the main screen. That wraps up our introduction to Cortana. Make sure you check out our follow-up video later on how to customize her in order to get the best experience.